RTC bat. <laughs> uh, I kind of like you can't tell what's how big is this? Is this like five feet across or like a quarter of an inch? Um, this is a it's actually about half an inch. Across. So it's a trampoline. It's, that's the you could take the red path or the black path and it's a, tramp, it's a it's a it's pool cool. it's a pool filled with milk uh yeah this is an rtc battery for the raspberry pi 5 uh which has built-in low power and wake up support um but to take advantage of that you need to get a rtc battery and this is the one recommended by the raspberry pi foundation now in stock um i don't know how much documentation there is about the low power mode but uh you might as well get one now have it shipped to you and by the time it's documented you'll be ready to rock this is a revision for the Adafruit speaker bonnet, we finally have these back in stock. And the revision is now it comes fully assembled. So not only is the bottom header on, but the terminal blocks are pre-attached too. So if you want to attach uh, speakers, you don't have to do any soldering whatsoever. This is completely plug and play um, with any Raspberry Pi computer. Okay, next up. Next up, we also have a revision for the FTDI Friend. It's like an ancient product, but still a lot of people buy it. The big change went from mini USB to micro USB. Not a big change, but I figured, you know, you might as well get with the times, even though it's USB type C is kind of becoming more popular. Uh, but we didn't want to like redo too much of the PCB design. So we just swapped out the mini for the micro USB. Uh, otherwise it's still fully assembled, comes with a genuine FT232RL chip. Uh, you could know it, you can trust it. You love it, um, used in so much stuff. And on the back, there's some jumpers to configure it. Go to the last photo with the coin. Uh, you can set five volt or three volt power and signal logic level. Um, and you can have uh, pin 6B DTR so that you can uh, you know, use it with some software that uses DTR or you can use RTS. Next up. Uh, next up, oh, we have another screen. This one is a nice round. 2.8 inch 480 by 480 display uh, it's an rgb 666 which uh, means as usual it's used with our qualia board which we've been doing so many projects with i've uh, got a live demo for this it does not have a touch screen but we'll probably get a touch screen version later so i have it here hooked up to the qualia and uh we've got that video playback code so um yeah i made round doom hold on this is crashing come on I think, I think the uh oh you know what the cables are loose here hold on cables are no longer loose uh playing doom or just like an animated bill Nye. Nye, the signs coming I don't know why you sent me that gift to play this one's nice it's funny this one is just a nice butterfly it's a nice butterfly nice butterfly so um these beautiful displays uh, are ips so they look great from any angle um nice backlight uh 480 by 480 pixels um, you know, with Stargate too on there somewhere. Yeah, hold on, let me get to the. I think these cables are. The cables are. Lost. Well, I don't know where it is. Hold on. Works great on my desk, but. Uh, There's that's the little that's cool. There you go. No, it's Stargate. Okay, here we go. Thank here you. we go. Here we go. You're always looking. You're always like, where's the Stargate? Yeah, this is it for the folks who want to make a pocket Stargate. You can't. Oh, Stargate. You can't send an entire person, but you can send. You can send like a mouse. Some baby, some some body parts. Yeah, like if, like your fingers, like yeah. Through. Um, that's just playing animation, but um, yeah, it works great with the Qualia board. Um. Just watch out, not every driver or microcontroller can control these displays because it's a lot of pixels, you need a lot of memory, and you have to drive them very quickly. But uh, the Qualia does work with Arduino and CircuitPython, so a great a great pairing. Okay, and start of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our customers, our staff, our community, everyone who makes the things go, is, you guessed it, the uh, Pi camera is uh, coming soon. Yay. We'll have them in the store shortly. Yes. Up. These are going to go super duper 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 fast but this is our camera yeah the pcbs just came in on monday so we're, we're you know i'm gonna finish the tester but i wanted to get these uh photographed so that um folks could sign up so this is an all-in-one camera um that can run circuit python or arduino it has an esp32 s3 which is wi-fi and bluetooth capable eight megabytes of flash two megabytes of ps ram which it needs because it has to read up to five megapixel images from the onboard camera sensor and the camera sensor is in the middle there. It's an OV5640, which is kind of the nicest camera that you can get for microcontrollers at that size. And it's got autofocus capability. So you can take either close up or far away photos and you can manually change the focus or autofocus. It will uh, uh, use the motor to move the lens back and forth for you. Um, you can power it over USB type C or battery. If you want battery power, it'll auto recharge. There's a micro SD card slot for storing images, and you can also um, take GIFs, you can animate GIFs. 
there's uh, STEMA QT and STEMA non QT ports, uh, two GPIOs, analog or digital for LEDs or sensors, and I squared C for any other kind of sensor or device you want to attach. There's a built-in accelerometer. Uh, there's a shutter button, a reset button, an on-off switch so you can save power. A uh, preview screen, uh, 240 by 240 so you can see what the camera sees. Uh, lots of buttons and, and a speaker that'll buzz when you know you take a photo or you want to give people signals or something. Um, so I thought I could just show a quick demo of the, the CircuitPython uh, code running. As you can see, the REPL. And it loads in, it loads the firmware for the autofocus, which takes a few seconds. Um, and then you've got, you know, your own camera here. Let me back this off because this is. Okay, so um, yeah, you got a camera and uh, you can autofocus, take photos. You can change. Uh, this is the firmware that we've got running on it that is um, in CircuitPython, which of course means you can like modify it. So this is like black and white mode uh like sepia and uh color modes this is solarized like a cool kind of like a funky effect uh normal inverted so it's hard to see because it's like but it inverts all the colors um you can do jpeg mode and we have a mode that you can take like very small animated gifs if you want to make an animated gif camera um stop motion photography which is kind of neat um stop motion means that uh let me go back to normal when you take a photo, um, it'll show a ghost of the previous image. So if you're doing stop motion animation, um, you can tell like how much you have to onion make. skinning. I yeah, it's, it's onion skinning. This is your idea, which is kind of cool. And then uh, let's yeah, you can see where the last it. photo that you took was, so you can do the next one. Yeah, SD card support. Um, Good for claymation little videos. Yeah, we might show a little like how to do stop motion, but like if you want your very own completely open source camera that you can write um, code for yeah. uh, in Arduino or CircuitPython, and of course it has like, you know, web access and Bluetooth access, so you can do wireless projects with it. Um, there'll also be a case. This is showing one half of the case. And then of course I left yeah. the other half. There's another half of the case um, on top that has an LED ring built into it. But for now we're just having the bare board, you know, if you want to just get started, um, you want to make your own enclosure, and then we'll also have uh, a case available. That's new products. Stop, stop. New, 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 new.